What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can convert a piece of paper with text on it a document and uh, convert that into an editable type of word document so we can then make changes to that document now this is very important uh, in companies when you're working for a company you'd have to do this quite a lot and also it may be a case that you've printed out some work that you've created uh, if you was at school or college or something like that and now you've lost the main document you can't find it or it's become corrupted and now you need to really uh, try to get that document back into an editable state so you can then make changes to that document I'm going to show you how you can do that so first off we're going to need to scan that document with a scanner to get it into an image state so let me just show you how to do that now all we need to do here is just scan our document with a, a scanner or scanner printer as you can see here and uh, just stick that into the actual scanning bay and scan that item via paint and I'll show you how to do that in the next part so you just close this part down now once we've got our document scanned all we need to do here is then open up a uh, paint so we're going to open up a uh, paint so we can type paint in here As you can see just open up the paint program and now from here we're going to go up to file and you can see here from scanner or camera so what that's going to do is put this into paint from scanner or camera so we're going to click on this uh, the next step is to do black and white picture or text and this is what we need to do here so we need to select this and then click on scan This will then start to scan the document and put this into paint. Now depending on how fast your scanner is, you can see it doing it down the bottom. And there we have our document. Now it's upside down, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you can see we've got a load of uh, marks in here. And I'm going to show you how you can remove these as well if you've got editing marks on there and stuff like that we'll just take a look at how we can do that so what we can do here is you can rotate it's 180 there we go so we've got this round to 180 degrees and now what we want to do here now is come up here and save as now what you want to do is you want to save this as another format now you can either save it as an image if you want to or you can save it to whatever you like I've shown you in my previous video how to get this from an image so you could do that from an image but we're going to be doing this as a TIFF file I'm going to put this in here as work and from here what I need to do is uh, select this into my backup area and we're going to put it inside here and click Save now once we've done that we are finished with this area we can click close and we can now go to our backup drive and you can now see we have a work document here in a TIFF document now we have got this as a TIFF file here as you can see and uh, all we need to do here now I could use OneNote to convert this into text if I wanted to but we're going to be using uh, this online site now again a word of caution here if you are using online sites like this you are uploading documents to them and what you've got to remember is if this is sensitive data you may want to be very careful when you're uploading to uh, sites uh, like these I don't know what their security or uh, privacy policies are or anything like that you may want to check that out uh, before you upload a sensitive document up to here because if it's for a company and it is sensitive information you may not want to do that you may want to do it uh, via uh, the software on your own computer uh, but this is not a sensitive uh, document so I can upload it now you can see here it wants me to select a file and we're going to convert this so let me select my file here we have our file work.tiff so I'm going to click open and you can see it's now scanning it's now finished that so what we're going to do here is going to put in all the numbers that it wants me to put in there and we're going to click on convert and depending on the size of your document will depend on how long it takes 
we can now download this uh, file which I'm going to do here and here we have our uh, file now if you want to save this you can save it to a location I'm just going to open this up now it's going to ask you to enable editing and that's fine because that's what we want to do and we're going to enable editing there we go and you can see uh, it's removed all those squiggly marks on there which is quite nice and of course you can make some changes here uh, to the document uh, to suit your needs as you can see the fully editable document you can actually uh, change stuff here do what you like now again there may be slight changes in some text and stuff like that uh, but you can correct those but you've mainly got the whole content on here as you can see and uh, all those uh, drawings and writing has come off here now if it hasn't and you've got a piece of uh, writing on here normally it comes along as a section that you can actually click on and uh, delete but now we've gone from a piece of paper uh, into a word document that's editable uh, now years ago this would have been a complete nightmare and it would have been pretty tough to do but with modern technology it's been very very easy again you can use other software out there there's tons of software out there that will do this it's OCR type software which actually recognizes and scans uh, the document and then converts it into an editable document I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos also if you've got any problems with computers or any video requests or anything like that you can always head over to our forums it's free to join and uh, join the community anyway thanks again for watching guys thanks for continued support bye for now